If you have trouble getting to sleep at night, have ever been told you have bad body odor, or just love taking baths in general, the San Francisco Bath Salt Company here in Pier 39 may have just what you're looking for. Let's check it out. There's a couple of guys from England who didn't think there was enough of a bathing culture in America. And they actually, they run a website as well that they sell it off of, relaxtheworld.com. And then at Pier 39, we sell bath salts actually from San Francisco. Bath salts, uh, soaking in salt water, whether it's Epsom salt or sea salt, we use sea salt. It's very good for sore muscles. And when you're in the bath, the hot water opens up your pores, and the salt goes in and actually helps draw out the toxins. So it's very good for you. People say that it uh, keeps you youthful, and it smells nice as well. All these ones are scented. So, How do you keep them from not just smelling like San Francisco Bay sea salt? <laughs> uh, they're all scented with natural oils. So some of them are fragrance oils, and then a lot of them are actually essential oils, which are natural extracts of things. So there's 24 scents here. Probably the most popular ones are lavender, which is one of my personal favorites, and China Rain is a big one, Ocean Breeze, Sweet Pea and Ivy. It's a pretty wide variety, so there's something for everyone. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Mike from Alberta, Canada, um, a first timer here in San Francisco. So Mike, what brings you to the San Francisco Bath Salt Company? Well, we're just kind of walking around by the bay and... Kind of stumbled upon <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> like, I like the jars with the designs in them. I, I would buy them for, for the jar. For display, I guess. <laughs> yeah, for the display. And the way it works here is you just pick out a bottle or we've got bags and they're all priced individually and then you take the empty one and you get to fill it up with whatever you want. These bath salts smell good enough to eat, and for someone who hasn't had a big enough breakfast, I just might do so. For BNSF Reports, I'm Annalisa Herangozo.